In last week's video, we covered a video over IP protocol called NDI. This week, we are going to stay in the video realm and look into both Siphon and Spout. And by the end of this video, you will know what they are, why they were created, how they work under the hood, and how you can use them in your next project. To get a better understanding on why Siphon and Spout exist in the first place, let's take a look at a real-world problem that we need to solve. Say we have a computer that is running QLab, and we want to send a video output from QLab to Touch Designer for some additional post-processing and mapping. Of course, we could always grab ourselves two computers, one running QLab and the other running Touch Designer, and then use an HDMI cable out of the QLab side and plug it into the capture card on the Touch Designer side. While this technically would work, it leaves us with two main problems. The first problem is that we need two computers, each of which running its own corresponding software. The second issue is that there's a lot of computational overhead and latency. If we were to follow the data stream, we would see that we need to convert the video to an HDMI signal, then send it over a cable, and then on the receiving end, convert it back into something that the GPU can read. Each of these steps eats up CPU and delays the video stream more and more. To solve this problem, Siphon and Spout were created. First and foremost, while these two SDKs have different names, they essentially perform the exact same task. Siphon is for the Mac operating system, whereas Spout is for the Windows operating system. They work on a principle called texture sharing. Say we have a very simple image of a happy face. In the GPU's memory, this image will be mapped to individual memory locations. Whenever we want to show this happy face on the screen, we simply need to read the data from memory and then write it to the screen. Since all applications share the same GPU memory pool, we can theoretically make some low-level API calls to create a shared texture that can be accessed from different applications. While this would work, it would require every software to play nicely with one another and would be dependent on the underlying graphics layer. Now comes Siphon and Spout. These two SDKs make it effortless to add this type of functionality, and it handles all the complex GPU stuff behind the scenes. If you watched my last video on NDI, this workflow will be very familiar to you. On the source side of the video stream, which will be the application creating the video content in the first place, we will need to create a shared texture. For Siphon, this is called a server, and for Spout, this is called a sender. Once we do this, our video stream will be in a shared texture. Now on another app, we can read from that shared texture by using a receiver. And with that, we have successfully shared video between two applications. One of the greatest benefits of using Siphon and Spout is that there's nearly zero lag at all. And this has to do with how we are using a shared texture in the background that's in GPU memory rather than having the CPU transfer data from one process to another process. There are a couple of limitations that we need to keep in mind, however. The largest limitation is that we can only share video between applications that are on the same computer. If we want to share video across computers, we would have to reach for a solution such as NDI. Another limitation is that the software you are using has to support either Siphon or Spout, and while the adoption of both have been very successful, you may run into instances where an application does not support it yet. I personally use both Siphon and Spout in my day-to-day -day projects and have found that they are a valuable tool to have. It allows a system designer to not be confined to a single piece of software and instead can use whatever works best for the project. If you found this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to support the channel. And I will see you next time.